Today we're going to make the flaky pie crust recipe that's in my cookbook on Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to half the recipe because I'm only going to make one or two pies. So we're going to use six cups of flour, a half a cup of margarine, a half a cup of cold water, two teaspoons of salt, two cups of Crisco, two eggs, and two and a half tablespoons of vinegar. So first you cream the Crisco and margarine and eggs together. We have in the blender the half a cup of margarine and two cups of Crisco and two eggs. And we're gonna just put it on low, cream it together. So it all gets to be nice and smooth. Once the Crisco margarine and eggs are creamed together, then we add the salt and some of the flour. We'll add just some because we don't want to wear it. So we'll just add some of the flour. Turn it back on, let it start mixing together. Add a little bit at a time so it starts to get stiff. And you add your vinegar last. Once it starts getting pretty stiff, we can take it out of the mixer and do the rest by hand. When you finally get all the flour incorporated together, I separate the dough into two balls so you can have a, the top layer of the pie and the bottom layer of the pie. You can use this pie crust for fruit pies. You can use it for um, making pot pies too. So today I'm going to make an apple pie. So I cut up six large apples, put regular sugar and cinnamon on it, and then we're gonna put it in a pie pan. First you have to, I got wax paper, I'm gonna roll it out on so it's easier to flip into the pan. And you put a little flour down on the wax paper so the dough doesn't stick to it. And then you just roll the dough out. Here's a little trick I want to share with you. See I have wax paper on the bottom and then flour and then the dough and then flour on top and wax paper. That way your rolling pin never sticks to your dough and it's a lot easier to spread it out and make it even because your dough isn't sticking to your rolling pin. Once you get your pie crust about an eight inch thick Take the top layer of wax paper off, and you just put your pie pan here. Just flip it over, and then it lands right in your pan. Once you get the top layer rolled out, put your filling into your pie crust. And since I'm doing apple, I'm going to put a little bit of, just sprinkle a little bit of flour on top. Helps uh, not make it so runny. The flour kind of soaks up the juices. Then we're going to flip the top on and put it in the oven. Once you get your filling in your pie, 
make some breathe holes with a knife so the steam can get out of the pie while it's cooking and we'll bake the pie for an hour and we'll have apple pie. If you like the recipes I show on the YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also, the flaky pie crust recipe is in my cookbook on Amazon.